Hi, this is Brad with Copper Creek Cuts, a lawn care company in Northeast Florida. You can tell by the attire, it's a little bit cooler today in Florida than normal, uh, but we have a lawn care cleanup to do. Unfortunately, the place that I'm going to is down this very narrow road, and I'll show you the driveway. I can barely pull my truck in, but definitely not my truck and trailer. So unfortunately, I'm just having to use the back lot of this church. They don't have anything going on now, so I don't think I'm bothering them, but have to park here and drive all the way over there with the Ventrac. Not ideal, but I mean, if you can't fit, you can't fit, right? So <laughs> you gotta do what you gotta do. Uh, there will be two versions of this video. This is the very long one, so grab some popcorn. This is the short one, so you don't have to have a ton of time. I won't really talk, it just focuses on the work. And of course, I just lost my Ventrac key. Just as I went to turn you off, I found it. Where is it? No, that's it. I'll try and show you the road as we're going down and especially when we pull into the driveway you'll see first of all how narrow the road is it's just a one lane road when you've got something this long it's nice to have two or even three lanes to be able to swing wide into a place but then the uh, driveway itself is just very narrow and there's just not a lot of room to maneuver so we got to drive it in. So yeah, that's the driveway. We've got a little drop off right there where it goes into a bit of a ditch. Hey puppies, what you doing? And then right here, there's a little bit of a ditch. Not super wide. And this is what I'd be having to turn in from. And then there's house all right there. So I'd really have to turn hard. It's just not the best. But anyways, this is the property. This is a, an investment property that my buddy purchased he has yet to invest in it yet. <laughs> so I guess it's just a property that's me ribbing at him a little. Uh, I think everything's just so expensive right now that I think they're just gonna, uh, you know, hang on to it a little bit till stuff isn't quite so crazy. But this property was abandoned for a long time before he purchased it. That grill doesn't look too old though. I don't know. I'm almost afraid to lift the lid. Maybe find a wasp nest. Lots of tall grass. All of this over here, the beginning of this year was real heavy brush. Had the Ventrac media team down here and we filmed chewing this stuff all up. But we were on a real tight schedule, so I didn't get to do as much as I wanted to. And keep in mind, the purpose of this visit is just knock everything down for the end of the season. Where I'm at, things slow down in October, and then from November till about February, they don't really grow much. So this one service today should uh, keep this place presentable for the next, you know, four or five months before, until spring comes back in. We've got our septic mound right here. If you don't live in the city, you have to get your own water and you have to handle your own sewage or wastewater. The way you get water is by a well, which is dug on your property. And then you have a pump that, uh, you know, you run electricity to and gets water. And then for your sewage, you have a septic tank, which is some kind of concrete. The one I grew up with was concrete. They might have plastic ones nowadays, uh, but it's a concrete tank 
that is raised so it's a higher point than the rest of the yard you do that for flooding so the septic tank doesn't flood into the yard all your sewage is discharged there and that's what this mound here is i know elevation doesn't really show up on camera but this is a large mound. the good thing about the ventrac on this is that it is a, a much lighter machine um, so a zero turn on here would be fine but the Ventrac has an even lighter footprint and you wouldn't want to put a tractor or something real heavy on here to clear this brush because then you'd be, you know, you'd risk damaging that infrastructure underneath. I'm still trying to get my hands on a chipper that doesn't cost an arm and a leg. When that happens, we're going to, I'm going to try and talk him into letting me take down these trees that are all grown up. He's, he's wanting to redo this place and, you know, fix it up rather than demolish and start over. The back door is just sitting open. I'm trying to talk him into just demolishing it and starting over because this place is in very rough shape. Uh, there's no light, so you really wouldn't be able to see anything if I went further in, but I remember one part, I think if I still have it, I'll post it, but uh, we did a walkthrough, he and I, in here, and there was one point where I was joking with him about structural carpet. Yeah, that's always good. Eh? Okay, well, so this is structural carpet. That's structural <laughs> carpet right there. Yeah, really? You going to, are you going in? <laughs> Just a little bit, yeah. <laughs> It'll be a nice little project to do some cleaning up for, um, but I think we're gonna wait until he gets a dumpster on site. The other thing I really have been, I don't wanna say struggling without, but I've had so many jobs lately where the bucket and grapple attachment would be so helpful. You know, just like everybody else, things are way behind, and so I'm still waiting on one of those. I'm sure there's dealers that have them, but you know, it's like, do I care enough to drive 12 hours one way? What is that, the dog who's complaining because he's sitting on a nail, he's howling, and somebody comes up and he asks the dog's owner, what's wrong with the dog? And the owner says, oh, he's sitting on a nail. So the guy says, well, why doesn't the dog just get up and move? And the owner says, well, it doesn't hurt him that much. It's not annoying enough that I'll get up off my lazy butt and drive to a dealer that has it in Tennessee or wherever. But anyways, yeah, we're just gonna clean up as much as we can. See, we've got a tree down there. That's not a today job. But again, if I had that grapple, if I had a chipper, I could knock that stuff out.
about that.
All right, so we're pretty much done. All I'm gonna do now is run the tractor back and forth in an opposite direction than I cut to knock down any stragglers, you know, make it look nice. One thing you've got to understand, this is a rough cut mower, so it doesn't create lift or suction like a, a finished mower would. So there will be stragglers. So that's something you either need to tell your customers to expect with a rough cut, there's going to be a rough finish or, you know, you just build in the extra cost to going back and forth another time. Obviously, you're going to be able to go faster uh, the second time around, but it's still going to take up some time and fuel. So that's one thing to keep in mind. All right, so that is it. This job is done. The string trimming around the place, it's, that's not really a value add work. It would have increased the cost of this job for my friend, but it wouldn't have actually done anything for the property. What we did was just knock the stuff down that people are gonna complain about. There's a lot bigger problems than what's left right there. But hopefully I'll be able to do some update videos on his progress as he moves forward. I think it'll make a, a nice little series cleaning this place up. It's a nice little patch of land that could be a very, I was gonna say nice again, but it's like, I said nice eight times. It could be a very nice home. Anyways, as always, thank you so much for watching. Really do appreciate it.